It's a brand new day! Time to check out this oil rig and the surrounding areas. What's inside this garage? Ooh. <laughs> Look at this mobile! That's weird. It's not really a mobile. Yeah, whatever. A lot of junk in here. Oh, we could close this little garage. Nice. We could make a nice little base here. Unfortunately, it's exposed to the elements, so maybe not so much. But it looks cool at least. Yeah. It's gotten darker. It's a cloudy day today. Some more dogs. Who's a cute little robotic doggy? You are. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, they don't look like robots. No, that's just a two-headed monstrosity, and I'm, I'm not sure what breed that is. But, well, I guess I can't say for certain that they're not robots, but they don't look obvious to me. It, it's... Why is it so dark? It's noon. It's legitimately noon. What, what kind of apocalyptic hell is going on right now? And it has gone completely black. Was that a solar eclipse? Did we just bear witness to a solar eclipse? <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Okay. Yeah, it's getting brighter now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Classy dino toy. Oh, he's going to a, a fancy dinner party. Gonna try and score it with the ladies, but he's not gonna frame it in such a way, cause that would be crude. No, no, no. He's he's just here to socialize, of course. Oh, and he's uh lost his dignity. <laughs> uh, we got some. Oh, operation. Yes, we got operation. Apparently, it's called Doc Mobul in this universe. We just called it Operation in my universe. Whoa, whoa, hold the fuck up. I'm sorry, is that a Gundam RX-71 model kit? Okay, interesting things here. <laughs> but I'm only here for the dino toy. Let's leave. Could be some toys in here. Or some gigantic bobbleheads. Jeez. So heavy, I can't even lift them. I can stuff them in my pocket, though. So you're coming with me. Oh, yup, sure enough, they stay super-sized. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've trapped myself in a wall of bobbleheads. I, I actually can't leave. All right, back in my inventory, guys. What the fuck are you doing here? I was looking for the toilet. Uh, mm. Mm. Well, don't piss on my carpet. The toilet's just there. Go, oh, look at your little puppy. He's a little puppy. Yes, a St. Bernard out here in the desert. Somebody makes bad decisions. Oh, he's a good puppy, though. It's likely he's very miserable. He's not built for this kind of weather. Oh, look how happy he is. It's fine. He stays there, and I got no qualms with him. Starts humping my leg. I'm going to chop it off. What? Your leg? No, the dog's penis. Oh. Well, the way you worded it, it sounded like you were going to chop off your leg, and you wouldn't do that for such a cute little puppy. Nice painting. Which one? There's quite a few of them. Hmm. All right. Yes? Why do you have so many pictures of gnomes? They are my gnomes. Well, they were my gnomes. That's ridiculous. I didn't ask for your opinion. You're the one asking questions. If you don't like the answers, that's not my problem. Well, you're really sensitive about your gnomes, aren't you? Yes, they wanted to see the world. I can understand. This place is a death trap, but I miss them. Your gnomes left? They got up and walked away, huh? How did you get those pictures? They send them to me to show me they're having a good time. <laughs> Rubbing it in your face, huh? If, if I find them, I can try and persuade them to return. Are you serious? You know what they say about insane people? Don't aggravate them. I hear there's a gnome in the... Uh, there we are. We've got a lampshade gnome. Mm-hmm. Aha! Oh, that counts as stealing. Let's leave. The uh, party hat gnome with a knife and a whiz... Is a dangerous gnome. Once again, that counts as stealing, so let's leave. 
Uh, here's another whiskey gnome in the prostitute's hotel room. Hello, Mr. Powder Ganger. Have you seen a gnome around here? You're sitting on him. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a, a baseball gnome. He's got a baseball hat. All right. And back you go. And because you're a filthy powder ganger. Ugh. Got some bugs down here. With my extermination gun, they're no problem. Okay. Ah, there's a gnome over there. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute, but I have knocked him beyond my reach, I think. Ow! Oh, and now he's within my grasp. Yes? I've completed your ridiculous gnome quest. Excellent, thank you so much. I hope they won't leave me again. Here's hoping I'm not running after them a second time. I don't have much, but I can give you something. How about this? A gnome stick and 200 caps. A gnome stick? I I'm sure that will come in useful, whatever it is. You're welcome. Thank you for your help. We have to go to a bar and get a drink together when we get the time. But for now, I'm sorry, but I have to take care of some gnomes. It's just a gnome on a stick. That's all it is. If you were expecting anything beyond that, you're going to be disappointed. Because it's just a gnome on a stick. Hi. Hey, cool weapons. Are we just going to gloss over the fact that you've got a ghoul companion? It's me, just my ghoul pet. He follows me everywhere, like a dog, you know. He's feral and will rip your face off. I think he likes me. He's my brother. Oh, that's got to suck. On the plus side, though, now we know who's the favorite. It's the one not leaving rotting flesh everywhere. We lived in Pansia's house until I was old enough to take care of Outrageous alone. Now we live here. When I travel with him, the other ghouls never attack me. So we can say he also take care of me. These poor kids. Yeah, it's a travesty. Speaking of Pansia, she wants to know if you've got eggs. I have no egg anymore. I've lost Nevermore. You've lost Nevermore? Nevermore is my raven. He's gone. I don't know where he is. Y you've been eating raven's eggs? They don't lay them as fast as chickens. It's like an annual thing with ravens. As you noticed, there is no chicken in the wasteland. So we eat raven's eggs. It's very good. Sadly, he's not here anymore. We miss our Nevermore. I've never had a raven's egg before. Wouldn't mind tasting one. Nevermore without Nevermore. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I'll find him for you. Maybe I won't. And if you see him, bring him back here. I'll cook something for you. Don't know how I would distinguish that from a regular raven. But if I find your specific raven, I'll return him. Oh. We have stumbled upon the raven almost by chance. It's pretty brave, not flying away immediately. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Oh, he knows Shakespeare. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. All right, Nevermore, you're coming with me. Tis some visitor I might- Wait, no, I'm not even to the pot where I show up yet. Shut up! Call! All right, let's bring this bird back to the boy. Then we can eat its eggs. <laughs> There's something twisted about that. Encasing that freedom-loving bird in a cage, and then eating its children. That's so twisted. I love it. Hey, I'm back, small child. Hey, you're back. Thank you for nevermore. You're awesome. Now you have to wait four days, and I'll cook something for you. Oh, let's wait four days then. Uh, I guess we could pass some time. There are a lot of places here around here that would serve as a makeshift base. Hmm, which would be the nicest one, though? Ooh, how about this? Mysterious bunker. Mm-hmm. Oh! Hello! Let me just turn that off. Oh, and you've gone invisible. Don't look at me like that! Oh, okay. 
of rooting in my gaze is something I endeavor to do. I'm looking for a man named Peter. He's a super mutant, I assume. Big and green. I don't know Peter. Oh, stop staring at me like that. And even if I knew, I would not tell you because I don't like the way you look at me. I don't think I like your tone. And I assure you, you don't want to be on my bad side. I've killed many a time. Oh, dirty human little piece of shit. They're always looking at us with their eyes. They stare at us. They watch us. They want to analyze us. Uh, you want Peter too, that's it? You want Peter? Yes, I lost Peter. Yes, I know, Pamela. I'm just a loser. I haven't been able to keep him. I will stay alone until the end of my life. Not my problem. Oh, human. Disgusting human. I, I could kill With you. With his eyes watching me. You want him, right? You want my Peter. Yes, then give me take Peter. This key and find the lock. What, you locked him in your basement? I might kill your rat pet companion as revenge. Some might call it retribution. Eh, you've got a this point, alright then. Oh, that's a fancy rug you got here. A fancy rug concealing a hidden door. I'd have never known that you had a secret basement if you hadn't told me. Uh, this is very shady, by the way. <laughs> there we are. Oh, look at that. Hey! Hey, Peter, your wife's been worried about you. Wanted to know where you were. I guess she didn't know you'd been kidnapped by Vicky. Okay, Vicky, I'm not gonna kill you for what you've done. But I will kill your rat. Let that be a lesson to you. Hey, Courtney, I found your lusty Casanova. Eh, hey, she's happy. Enjoy your broken marriage, you two. Eh, we haven't been in here yet. It's occupied, too. Oh, a lot of books here. Oh, oh my god, who are you? <laughs> sorry I broke in without asking. Wait, I don't say sorry. I apologize for nothing. Oh, excuse me. I'm troubled. I'm bereaved. My dear husband just passed out. Passed out? Please take a seat. Uh I'll fetch you some coffee. Well, if he's just passed out, he'll wake up soon. There's a difference between passed out and passed away. You want me to sit down right here where you've drawn the arrow? Uh, this seems suspicious. <laughs> that picture! I, I can't help but notice you've got a picture of Doge on the table. Is everyone around here a dog person? Yeah, some coffee. I'm sorry to hear about your unconscious husband. Burial place next Thursday. It will be very moving. You are invited if you wish. A flattering offer, but I did not know him very well. I hope at least the sun will be on hand. It's more cheerful. My poor Emil. They cut him in pieces with a sickle. <laughs> but what? in totality, he was a very handsome man. Who, who cuts people apart with a sickle? Well, would you like me to avenge his death? That would be wonderful. So, where are these fiends hiding? In an old building in Miller's Cove. Very good. I'll bring you their severed heads. Uh, their heads? Oh, that's very nice, but maybe you could just kill them, or just bring me back the finger of their leader, and I'll give you 200 caps? I insist, please. Allow me to bring you his severed head. All right, time to go on a justified murder quest. Granted, all of my murders are justified, but some more than others. Shh. Let's kick some ass. Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. Found one. Ooh. Damn! It incinerated him. Whoa! Stop it! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ah! I get the left side. You get the right side. Whoop. 
Apparently there were a lot more to the right side. <laughs> I gave you the harder task. Uh, that was not intended. Oh, God! <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Ouch! I can heal you if you need it. Do it. Let him come to you. Let him come to you. Calm down, Vanessa. Ah, ah, there we go. Those shopping carts didn't help you in the slightest. Let's return the severed head back to that grieving widow. I'm sure she'll be grateful to receive it. Did I, did I take the wrong path? No, there's just there one path. You are. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make you scream. Advanced battle tactics from these fiends. You thought you could hide from me? Brilliant. A brilliant plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I. Die, boy. Can you believe those crates didn't stop us? I mean, they had the perfect opportunity to ambush us, and instead they just left crates in our path. As if that would slow us down in the slightest. No one ever accused fiends of being smart. Oh, Miss Vandepoot, may I say you are looking as lovely as ever. I'm very, very sorry I killed your husband. You have my deepest apologies. Also, my severed head. Thank you very much. It was not too hard. It was, it was quite an uphill battle. I almost didn't make it. I don't know if 200 caps is enough to justify how much trouble I went through. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course. Take it. 300 caps. This is such a lovely area. So very nice. Hey, are you hungry? Not in particular, but sure. I cooked some eggs for you. Take this box for pension, and here, 12 cooked eggs for you. Hello there, mother and child. We have returned. Uh, you look like a woman who needs eggs in their life. Here you go. Hmm. Silent gratitude. I accept. Hey, robot, I'm back, and I brought you a little souvenir. Or rather, a dozen of them. <laughs> a lot of lovely dinosaur figurines. Oh yeah. Somebody put a lot of effort into these, and it shows. Look at that. He's got a little fire extinguisher. Lantern. Oh, they, they've put so much effort into these. I love them. <laughs> Welcome, sir. I found the dino toys, robot. Aren't you proud of me? Give me your approval, Daddy. Congratulations to you. And our reward for gathering all the dino toys is that we now have a second copy of each dino toy. Awesome. Now, there was an extra one inside the safe that I don't think I found. It's a chef. You got a little saucepan and a chef's hat and a little, a little bib around his neck. <laughs> all right, he's going to complete the collection. I'll put you right... Here, we'll, we'll figure this out. Welcome, sir. Before I leave, tell me a joke. I had dinner at the Ultralux the other night. I told them my steak tasted funny. They said it was a clown. I feel like you may have ripped that joke off from somebody on the strip. Did you hear about the cannibal who passed his brother in the woods? I don't... Oh, because he defecated him out. I, I... Okay. I get it. I'm not laughing, but I get it. Why don't cannibals eat vegetables? They're too hard to get out of the wheelchairs. Why does the robot have so many cannibalism jokes? How many legion does it take to screw in a light bulb? Oh, you better be careful. Are you kidding? That's women's work. Okay, that one was pretty good. <laughs> well, Vanessa, it has been a lark. We had some fun, didn't we? And even though helping people out isn't normally my cup of tea, you have made the experience quite enjoyable. Although running around doing mundane busy work for these yokels, it's been kind of exhausting, if I'm being honest. For the first time in my life, I think I need a drink. Hey. To alcohol. Shit, I need to take a piss. That's a little bit more information than I needed, but go right ahead. Let's get a drink. So, 
What do you want? Whiskey? <laughs> Vodka? God, there's everything in here. You guys go do whatever it is you're going to do. I'm going to go find a slot machine that someone's playing and then make him win a couple times and then take all of his money from him. Wait, why would you do that? Oh, because people's pain brings you great joy. No, because it's just fun to hear people curse. And then afterwards, I'm going to go hit up Fisto, see if he can do any ghost fisting. I'd be curious to know if that's even a thing. I have no idea, but we'll find out. Away I go! We rule! Yeah, we did a decent amount of stuff today, so enjoy your beer. A beer, thanks. Cheers. <sighs> I want to sit somewhere. Take whichever seat you want. It'll be just perfect. I think further away from the front door might be better. Yes. That chair would be ideal, but he's already sitting in it. The New Vegas team! Oh, you're going to sit with the prostitute, huh? Okay, fine. Leave me by myself with this smoldering ashtray. It could be my new companion. Probably just as competent as you. No, that's not fair. You did the lion's share of the work today. I was actually impressed by how good you were in combat. This is really nice. You know, I like the Atomic Wrangler. For people looking for a little peace and quiet, this is an ideal place. Don't you think it's time to tell me your story, Vanessa? Well, let me see. I was born not far from here. My father left when I was a kid. I searched for him from coast to coast. I eventually found my way to Washington, D.C. Really? What a coincidence. I've been there myself. There I found friends, adventure, and money. But not my father or my sister. Then a friend helped me in my research, and we were able to locate her. So, I came back here. I won't lie, I miss D.C. But I love the Mojave. It's my homeland. I didn't even know you had a sister. You'd never mentioned that. Yeah, I have a half-sister. Same father, different mothers. Say, have you read a book called The Grapes of Wrath? No, I haven't had time to sit down and read books. Why? Have you? No, just curious. Then why did you ask? Well, that killed the conversation. Are you alright, Vanessa? Yeah. Vanessa, say something. Something. God, don't you hate that? <laughs> it's uh, a very stale joke, yes. Uncomfortable silence. Why do we feel that it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, but the answer is so simple. That's when you know that you found somebody really special. You can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share pure silence. I would be more comfortable if we weren't in this seedy bar. Hey. You wanna fuck? I I'm sorry, what did- I must have misheard you. I see the way you look at me. I can just tell. So, do you want to? Well, since you suggested that out here in front of so many witnesses, I suppose if I rebuked your advances, that would seem out of place, considering how I am a renowned hound dog. So yes, yes, I, I will take you up on this offer. They have rooms for rent here. You lead. And I'll follow you. I bet in places like this, you could really cut down on the pride factor. That's a good thing. Uh, and here is our lovely room. Stained carpet, peeling wallpaper, smell of mold and mildew. What's not to love? Tonight's hot as hell. And this is a lousy room in a lousy park. Of a lousy town. I agree. It's perfect. I disagree. But at least you like it. Do you want me? I, I feel enraptured by you. 
ESC, I know exactly what you want. Uh, that's that's an outfit and a half. Music isn't to it? my ears. Why are you wearing a combat rucksack and butterfly wings? Do you have some whiskey? Uh, oh fuck it! I feel like I say that all the time. Just give me some what? goddamn whiskey, and I'll stop complaining about it. In in the middle of the. Okay, I could I could overlook the butterfly wings and the lingerie, but the rucksack is so off-putting. Why would you think that's sexy? What in God's name makes you think like this? Now just hello. Relax right here on the bed. Uh, okay. We have quite the adventure ahead of us tonight. I'm okay. I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be a, an enjoyable experience had by both of us okay yes hope you're ready I want you to make me scream <laughs> that I can abide by hey Mike guess what I did I made some sucker lose 10,000 caps oh my god Sex noise! Oh, sex, yeah. noise. Oh. sex noise! Oh. Sex noise! Sex oh. noise! Alright, I'm leaving! Oh. I'm out! I'm out! Oh. I'm out! I didn't need to oh. see this! Oh. God! Heterosex! <laughs> hey there! Hey there! Oh, this has actually uh, trapped me inside of the conversation. I cannot leave. There is no goodbye. Then I will hit Cam and bid you farewell and never talk to you again. <laughs>